So now we'll be using the linking with expressions project in the chapter 19 folder to link properties, visual properties of the rock logo layer to this slider property in the both channels property of the audio amplitude layer. So what I'm going to do is hit the letter S for scale and I'm going to option click or alt click on the PC, the stopwatch here, and then click the pick whip and drag it to the slider property. Once you're done with that, click in a blank area here to accept the expression. Now, as soon as you do that, something kind of scary happens. Instantly, your layer disappears. And as we hit page down to advance frames, it's just gone. But as we keep going, as soon as there is any volume to the audio track, which causes the audio amplitude value to increase, then we start to see our property, our layer here. The reason why is because when there's no volume, as there is for the first few frames of the audio track, the slider for both channels, the amplitude is set to zero. And because we have linked the scale property to this slider, when that slider is zero, the scale is zero as well. And a scale value of 0% results in an invisible layer. So now as we preview this audio track, we can see that it pulsates and moves based on the volume of the audio. I'll zoom out of my timeline here a little bit, and then go to a few seconds later in the composition when the music's a little bit louder and you can see that it gets bigger. Now the problem is, is that it stays too small. Even when it gets loud, the slider value stays around 20, maybe a little bit more than that. And that basically means that our scale value is about that much. So it's about 20, 30% the size. In the next movie, we'll look at how to fix that. But first I want to also adjust the rotation property. So I'm gonna hit the letter R, and I'm going to Alt or Option click the stopwatch, and click and drag the pick whip, to the slider value as well. And again, click in a blank area here to accept the expression. So now the layer is scaling and rotating more when the music gets louder. Now I have another problem with this. Not only do I want the layer to scale more than it's scaling, but I also want it to rotate in the opposite direction. And all these things will fix in the next movie. So let's go ahead and check it out.